bred for? Black dots. Strained eyes, friendly grin. It all started with Nemesis, a round-framed bot with a pneumatic spike who managed to shunt the shunt. The Irish team's burning passion would carry on in the form of Deator. They had multiple versions and derivatives. It is a beloved comical regular in classic Robot Wars and still has some sort of presence in the modern-day robot combat. However, Deator could not win a heat final. They just could not self-write. But hey, it is a tag team terror champion, and the team had two sportsmanship awards. Alright, let's rank them. I made this Deator tier list template a while ago, so you can make your own tier list with the link in the description. This tier list will not use a standard S2F tiering system. Instead, we're using the silly tiers. If it's relevant, success can contribute, but it is a lesser factor here. If the version of Deator looks different enough from the others, it will be a separate candidate, excluding Terra Australis. Deator did fight their machine, so technically the father-son battle did happen. Deator's dad. Who would have thought it would be one of the three robots to ever beat Shun in Sumo? Especially with that ground clearance. It was also the fastest in completing the gauntlet trial prior. It would be eliminated by the eventual champion, Roblox, in its heat battle. No shame in that. Sergeant Bash avenged Shun by lighting it on fire. Its run ended in a blaze of glory. I'd put it in mental since it ain't all that mad, but enough to give a few chuckles. Now we got Nemesis in its second run, with a bigger smile, two claws, and a sword nose. I would have liked it to come out the entrance with pink lighting again, it just hits differently. This time, they were not as successful in the trials, but they got lit up thrice by Sergeant Bash. The team also attached a kebab between the wheel arches for the sergeant to roast them in its heat battle. Which is pretty funny. The kebab did not get cooked though. For its Inferno Insurrection Rumble, Nemesis wore a chef hat, and that changes everything. It really wanted that kebab roasted, and the team would go so far to douse the fur in paraffin. The point of the match is literally to have Sergeant Bash burn both Nemesis and Ram Robin. Amazing. Definitely positively bonkers, yeah? Ah yes, early Deator. It has a hydraulic lifting arm with springs to help retract without losing power over time. The springs worked but it did not hold up after some flips. Not as much shenanigans compared to Nemesis 2 series run. It was ignited twice in series 3, excluding specials and only once in series 4, since it was eliminated in its only fight that time. Ming 2 just got under it and flipped it. Amusing but quite underwhelming. It looks more foolish than Nemesis though. Unlike Nemesis, it quickly got beaten by Shunt in Sumo. Early Deator lands in the Goofy tier, and it really was a consistently good performer. However, Deator with glasses and ash cheeks that burned in all three fights in Celebrity Special go into positively bonkers. There's no need for explanation. Personally, this is the most iconic version of Deator with its lifting bucket scoop and side spikes. The eyes often fly off when it flips. We've seen 7 fights from it in Extreme 1, and they were generally really fun to watch. Deator carried Mega Morg and Pussycat in Tag Team Terror, so it is a well-deserved joint champion. If it wasn't Sergeant Bash, the other bots would light it up, or Deator itself apparently. In these two series, it got immolated 7 out of 10 times in total. In series 5, it immediately flipped over Dome and won. Then it beat the eventual series 6 champion, Tornado, via pitting, a taste of its own medicine and quite an upset victory. It rode then high to the heat final and it got flipped by Spawn again right away. So I would put this Deator into, yet again, positively bonkers. It 
This Deator had a narrower and flatter shovel with an overhead grabbing arm. It was paired up with Pussycat once again in Tag Team Terror. And Bulldog Breed single-handedly took care of them quickly. Oh, and the uh, Robo Chicken is there too. This incarnation looked rather bizarre and is a frequent exhibit in RoboNerd. Hello darkness, my old friend. There is nothing else I could say about it, so it goes into the cheeky tier. Maybe even dodgy. It's Kadena Machina with fur and eyes. Self-riding is no longer an issue since it's invertible now. It had underwhelming performances with the first fight ruined by an unsecured removable link. If it was any consolation, it set itself on fire on the flame pit 5 seconds into its match with Apollo. That's good stuff. The white smile tempted me to put it in the mental tier. Part Deator, Part Iron Ore 7. The latter is enough reason for me to put it in dodgy. Ah, that's too mean of me. One of the few successful versions of Deator, and it can finally self right. Sadly, it did not do the thing in its run in fighting my bots. I still like the look of it, but being a Brit Flipper makes it feel more generic. Uh, cheeky tier. Now we get to the Techno Games robots. This is Ulysses. It is the most successful robot in the Deator family. It got the gold medal in Techno Games 2001's Internal Combustion Sprint Walker event and the silver medal in the 2002 Walker event. It barely has fur and often loses its eyes, but look at it, it's, it's still happy. This dude is quite rebellious though, passing into its opponent's lanes and knocking away the distance markers. I mean, it is said to have no steering. I think it deserves to be in Goofy too. the Nosclar, the derpy one without a smile and a metal bar in the middle. It took part in Techno Games 2002 Assault Course and it did alright. Considering it did recover from the fall off the ramp and it was moving wildly. Wish we get to see more of it though. It goes into the cheeky tier. Finally, we get to Minitor. Team Immersion's featherweight tribute to Deator. Looks a bit unique too, with the white scoop. It competed in Fight Fest Winter Challenge 2021 and with 3 solid fights. It lost the second one because it couldn't self ride. Never changed. It's not remarkable, but it was enjoyable to watch, even without being burned. It gets into the mental tier since it maintains the essence of silliness with its look. Alright, that wraps it up for my Deator tier list. I seriously cannot bring myself to call any of the Deators dodgy. Please share your thoughts in the comments, especially you name tab. <laughs>